Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk about the change which is on our doorstep, global trade digitization. First, some dreaming. So what if you would have instant access, secure access, end-to-end -to, -end to all the events which has happened in the supply chain? What if you would have access to the authentic document? So no more need to what happens still today, to fly out a paper document if you export flowers from Africa to Europe. The phytosanitary document stamped in Kenya has to be flown physically over to Europe while the containers with the flowers uh, sail to Europe and has to be presented when the containers arrive. So no more of that. How about knowing an accurate ETA? We have AIS, but it's not as accurate as you might think. How often does it happen that the truck misses a ship because it wasn't warned about change in ETA? How about a better forecasted ETA? Because you know downstream what happens in the port, there's congestion, so you can already slow down your ship and save fuel. How about customs not being worried that the customs declaration they get, which says goods or toys, actually, if they would really have the information, was fireworks, which started somewhere in the factory far away. What if they were not so afraid? They wouldn't be so frantic, and they would have the real data. They wouldn't, maybe not even need paper forms, could just pull the data uh, instead of uh, asking for all kinds of forms to fill with data which, which are not accurate. A paperless trade. We calculate 27 billion euro annually could be spent just by doing that. Sharing data across the supply chain. We think we do it, but actually we don't. Uh, IBM and Maersk have announced, and you might have, have read about that, uh, that we are launching a data sharing platform. It's called Global Trade Digitization Platform. And its objective is to improve um, the efficiency and moreover the transparency of data in the in supply chain. Um, you get permission to access to events, so you're not allowed to see everything, you're only allowed to see what others permission you to see. You get access to secure documents, the authentic documents, the original documents, which because of the use of blockchain technology you can trust that they're really unmuted and, um, and uh, original. And only because of that, we think you can do 10% of savings. The costs of compliance are extremely high. There's compliance to customs, which I mentioned. There's the port authorities. There's um, uh, agricultural uh, governments. There's, there's uh, freight documents which have to be produced, bills of lading. There's tons, tons of compliance uh, rules to follow. Um, we tested um, a transport of a container from Africa into Europe. Again, we found that 120 documents had to be produced during that trajectory. A huge, a huge cost-saving opportunity. So IBM and Maersk have joined forces and said we're going to launch this global trade digitization platform. And why will this fundamentally change the industry? Why will this be working? Because, of course, you know there have been data sharing initiatives in the past. Uh, first of all, the blockchain technology. That gives new opportunities in providing a real secure environment where you can uh, really uh, trust um, that the documents and the data you use are secure and cannot be changed. Um, the second thing, uh, it's an industry platform, so it's not, uh, it's not Maersk only or IBM only. Uh, from IBM perspective, it's open because we use open software, not IBM products. It's Hyperledger, it's a blockchain thing, I won't go into that, but it's open source software. From the Maersk side, they open up for the whole industry, it's not only Maersk and Maersk clients. It's, it's really an open industry platform uh, to share data end-to-end, end, and not only in your own small <laughs> ecosystem. Uh, we'll develop it iteratively, so we're starting now with maritime, uh, multimodal, truck, ship, uh, train. Uh, it will grow over time. With the feedback of the projects we do, we add uh, event types, document types, so it will be a continuous, evolving uh, uh, platform. And as we all heard today, everything is moving fast, so we want to roll out fast. That's why IBM and Maersk together have said, let's join forces. Uh, we think we can provide volume, and um, from the IT side, uh, the IBM side, the IT technology, Maersk with the volume and the insight in, in the industry. We'll see this through together, so it will happen. It's not just an initiative, it's serious investment, 
and a serious um, approach to create a global platform which is underlying other platforms. So there are local platforms, port community systems, uh, ecosystem groups. Uh, our vision is they plug into the platform and the, the, the Maersk IBM platform, the GTD platform is just an underlying data platform which enables sharing data. Um, blockchain technology, unchangeable data stored in a sequence, that's the blockchain, and distributed across the trade. Where are we with this? Um, at this moment we're running a number of projects. This is an example of one where we have collected uh, uh, the players in the supply chain, including the government players who of course play a crucial role without their blessing and the benefits they can give, a lot of the cost uh, efficiencies cannot be made. So we, we talk to European customs, US customs, Asia customs um, to get their buy-in. Banks are also very interested uh, to use the blockchain events to very precisely send invoices quickly. Uh, insurance company can, uh, can fine-tune the insurance premiums because they know more precise and more exactly where a shipment is in location and time. Uh, this is an example. Um, Schneider Electronics uh, parts uh, in France from the factory on the truck to uh, the port there um, in the port of Rotterdam, my country, um, then uh, on the Maersk Line ship uh, to the port of Newark. So the whole trajectory multi-mode is followed and data are shared, uh, secure documents, uh, important documents, uh, vital documents secure on the blockchain. Uh, some events. Not everything is on the blockchain, I can talk about that also. It's a very uh, efficient uh, combination of the two. It's one of the examples, you see some names, Schneider, Demco, uh, Dutch Customs. Uh, core, the core program is a European Union funded program which we use for, for unpaying clients um, to uh, do all kinds of trajectories where we learn a lot, where we uh, finalize the solution. Uh, governments are participating to to put their share in. It's a very wide accepted uh, program, a huge program, more than 50 players uh, uh, already uh, in the core program and connecting to a number of tests. We've done uh, Africa EU, uh, EU US, Asia EU. So we have a series of uh, projects ongoing. The large scale pilots, as we call them, are currently underway. And later this year, we will be operational. So it's on our doorstep. Uh, I promised uh, not to be too long, so I hope to give some minutes back to the organization. Um, of course, uh, we invite participants to play, so please connect me if you want to play. And um, I'm looking forward to the future. I think there's a lot of disruption going on, and hopefully we can contribute to absorb a little bit of that. Thank you.